Hi, this is Nick from Pathway to Oz, and today we're here with Talia, um, who's from South Africa, who is one of our previous students. Uh, and today we're just going to touch base and discuss, you know, sort of what the course was like, the visa options, and sort of, you know, setting you up for your, your pathway to permanent residency. Yep. Cool. So, why don't you give us a little background on yourself? Okay, so I'm from South Africa. I grew up in a big city in Johannesburg. Um, we came to Australia on holiday and we really enjoyed it. And we were like, oh, we want to live here. Mm. Um, it's quite a different lifestyle to where yeah. I grew up from close yeah. to the beach. I love being on the beach. Yeah. Um, so I came as a dependent on my mom's student visa. Yeah. I came to finish high school in Australia. So I did my last year and a half of schooling here. Yeah. And then I jumped onto my own student visa to yeah. study um, civil engineering draftsperson. Cool. So it's an associate degree of civil engineering at Tape Queensland. Yeah. Um, and actually Nick pointed me in the direction of the course because I enjoyed mathematics um, and design and yeah. um, you said that it would be a good course to study because yeah. it had both of those integrated and I really enjoyed it. Okay, yeah. cool. How long was that course? Like how often did you have to go to school? You know, tell us a bit, yeah, a bit more about it. Yeah. So the course was two years yeah. um, and we had to go four days a week. Yeah. Um, the timetables are really flexible. Mm -hmm. um, so you can choose night classes or day classes. So because I was traveling from the Gold Coast yeah. to Brisbane, I try to have all my classes on the same day. Um, so I'd had like a jam packed Wednesday and then yeah. Tuesday would be like nighttime classes and Thursday would be like um, morning classes. Okay. And then you had to come in for a fourth day just to finish up any other classes and okay. work on like pracs and ask questions. And yeah. Cool. And sort of what was your favorite part about the course? Um, my favorite part was um, integrating with other international students yeah. because when I came to finish school here, yeah. um, I was integrated with Australians um, and then they don't really understand like yeah. your story point of view, but um, integrating with other international students, you all come from a different background, yeah. you get to see where everyone else is from. Um, and I really enjoyed the teachers as well. Yeah. You got um, university quali quality lecturing at TAFE, yeah. which was really awesome. Uh, awesome, cool. And last thing about TAFE, but what was sort of some of the things, what was the hardest part? Do you think you found out the course? Did you get top marks? Did you get really good marks? No. No. <laughs> in the beginning, yes. Yeah. But then when you get a job in industry, you just yeah. focus more on like yeah. learning what you need to learn to do for work. Yeah. yeah. Um, another hard part of it was, yeah, probably commuting and yeah. doing four days a week yeah. um, while working. Yeah. yeah. So um, basically what happened uh, is when Talia finished the course, uh, we applied for a temporary graduate work visa. This is subclass 485. Um, we also applied for a skill assessment with Engineers Australia. So basically what we need for the application is uh, at least to apply for the provisional skill assessment. So it's receipt and then your IELTS or PTE. Yeah, IELTS, IELTS, yeah. IELTS, yeah. And the completion certificate, that was about it. Yeah, and then basically once the visa is granted, it's granted for 18 months um from these grant and you know why don't you tell us about you know how you how you've enjoyed working in the industry um how did you find your job you know the stuff okay. like that yep um so tafe actually has um like an affiliation with some companies and they um someone from that company will be in liaise with TAFE and yeah. when there's a job opening for a cadet or a trainee drafts person, yeah. they'll let TAFE know and TAFE will post it on the civil engineering drafts person Facebook page. Yeah. And then you just apply from there. Um, and yeah, that's how I yeah, actually got right. my job. I applied for a few different companies, yeah. but I was approached by the company I'm with now. Yeah. Um, so day to day, you're working on different projects all the time. Yeah. So we work with City of Gold Coast, yeah. uh, Department of Transport, Main Roads, yeah. and a few other civil engineering companies. Yeah. Um, I'm in the transport sector. Cool. So we work on like roads, railways, yeah. awesome. um, that sort of thing. And yeah, it's different every day. Like every road is, you think roads are yeah. the same, but they're all different. And you have to consider different factors when yeah. um, designing certain roads like drainage and environmental factors. So it's quite interesting. So basically when you finished your course, you 
started working full time yes. in the industry. Yep. Um, you remained employed throughout COVID. Yes. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and the good thing with civil engineering drafts person is that you can work from anywhere. So yeah. it's quite flexible. Like when COVID hit, most of us um, got to work from home. Basically, um, we're fortunate enough that you know when even throughout you know the COVID period and stuff like that. Um, Civil engineering drafting was actually considered to be like a, an engineering job or a critical yep. sector job on the Queensland list. And um, because Talia was working in the industry uh, and it was a critical sector job, she's on the Gold Coast, we were fortunate enough to submit the expression of interest and get invited to the Queensland nomination, which has been approved, obviously. So now we're about, we're pretty close to it. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. no, maybe this week, maybe next week, <laughs> I don't know, for the skilled regional 491. Um, so tell us about like, your future plans. What, what do you what do you got? What do you want to do? So hopefully I'll get my four nine one soon. Yeah. Um, and then I do want to go to uni yeah. to study the Bachelor of Civil Engineering. Yeah. Um, do you get time off? Like, is that a, that's a four year degree? I'm pretty sure. You, yeah. Do you get like two we get years? six months off um, of the bachelor for yeah. doing the associate degree? Yeah. Um, and then if you choose like straight civil without any other majors. Yeah you get a bit more time off. So you get, I think it's 96 credit points. Okay. Um, so how did you hear about Pathway to Oz back in, yeah? So when we were in South Africa looking for a migration agent, we just went on Google mm -hmm. and had a look and my, uh, Pathway to Oz had like a lot of good reviews yeah. um, as a migration agent. So we didn't want to just choose anyone because we wanted to yeah. make sure that the visa did come through. Yeah. Um, and then it was really easy to talk to you guys as well because you were in Australia already. Yeah. Um, so it was easier than dealing with a migration agent that was in South Africa. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And then once you were, you know, we just get the course, once you were on the course and then after, can you sort of help us uh, explain to us, you know, how Pathway Girls helped you and yes. you know, from there? So we had a lot of um, issues with our visa, just with immigration changing the rules a lot. Yeah. Um, and it was actually really comforting to be with Pathway to Oz because if you weren't with like a migration mm. agent like yourself, it would be quite difficult to know what to do in the situation. Yeah. But it was really easy to deal with you guys and yeah. like talk to you and say like, oh my gosh, this has happened. And yeah. then you'd say, oh, we suggest like going this way and yeah. doing this. Um, just half hours assistant student, 485, Queensland nomination are about to lodge the skilled regional 491. So yeah. the whole way yeah, through. Yeah, the whole way good. through, yeah. That's awesome. And uh, last question, would you recommend Pathway to Oz to anyone thinking about studying or potentially, you know, trying to get permanent residency in Australia? Yeah, no, definitely. I'd say don't even look anywhere else. Just go straight to Pathway to Oz. Awesome. Thank you very much. That's all right.